This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the structure and bonding of amino acids. Let's start by looking at the structure of a two amino acid. On one side of the molecule, we have an amine group, which is NH2. On the other side of the molecule, we have a carboxyl group. The R group, which is a side chain, is different for every amino acid. Next, we look at the bonding between amino acids. So, amino acids bond in condensation reactions. Here we have two amino acids reacting together in a condensation reaction to produce a dipeptide and a molecule of water. The water molecule is formed from the OH group on one amino acid and the hydrogen atom on another amino acid. The bond between the two amino acids is called a peptide bond or an amide link. The bonding of amino acids produces dipeptides, which are composed of two amino acids, like our example here, tripeptides and polypeptides, which are also called proteins. Next, we look at the formation of a tripeptide made from three amino acids, glycine, alanine and cysteine. As you can see, the side chain on each amino acid is different. Glycine has a hydrogen atom. Alanine has a CH3 group and cysteine has a sulfhydryl group. Here we have the reaction of the three amino acids in a condensation reaction forming a tripeptide and two molecules of water. As we saw in the previous slide, the water molecule is formed from the OH group on one amino acid and the hydrogen atom on another. In a tripeptide which is made from three amino acids, we have two peptide bonds formed and two molecules of water. There are six tripeptides that can be made from three different amino acids. And here we have the structures of the six tripeptides that can be made from the three amino acids we saw in the previous slide. In each tripeptide, the sequence of the amino acids, which is the primary structure, is different. And finally, we look at polypeptides. Polypeptides are composed of many amino acids bonded by peptide bonds or amide links. Here we can see the primary structure of a polypeptide, which shows the sequence of the amino acids. Each amino acid bonds in a condensation reaction, producing a molecule of water and forming a peptide bond. At the bottom, we can see the structural formula of the polypeptide, and on the right, we have the space filling model.